Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ari and I'm back with another one. Today we're gonna learn how to render Sims in Blender. So it's really not that hard of a process. I just recently learned and I've been practicing so I think maybe I kinda got a, a couple of tips and tricks that I can use to help you guys. Previously, a lot of people were using like Reshade or G-Shade in order to make their Sims game look really good, which is amazing for gameplay. But if you wanna take it up a notch for your photos, if you wanna RP on Instagram or Twitter or wherever, or or you just want high quality photos of your sims here is a great tutorial on how to get those high quality photos so if you want your sims to go from looking like this to this then keep watching all right let's go so the first things first you're gonna need about a couple of items you're gonna need sims 4 studio which will be linked below you're gonna need to download it and make sure that you install it and once it's installed you can just have it here on your desktop i'm gonna put everything up here next you're gonna need blender which is the most recent version this is my most recent version of blender i think it's blender 3.3 you're gonna need blender 2.70 which is an older version which will be linked below as well and then you're going to need to create a folder on your desktop with more folders inside so let's see so you're going to need sims 4 ripper which will be linked below as well once you have unzipped that and everything just put that folder here in your blender stuff then you're going to need to create these folders here so i've created a sims folder scenes props poses blend poses folder and a pictures folder you can create more or less whatever works for you as you learn more but these are probably really necess necessary for the sake of this video <clears throat> i did watch a tutorial the tutorial that i watched i will link it below just in case my tutorial is not as helpful and i know a lot of people have different teaching styles so some people might find it easier to watch her or me it doesn't matter it's millions of videos on youtube but i just wanted to contribute because why not so yeah that is basically all of the things that you're going to need right here so once you're in the game you're really not going to need the game that much but the only thing you're going to need the game for is to create your sim or sims so once you've created your sim you're going to go to load a game and this is where you're going to get your information for what you need you're going to go here to this little bubble and it's going to tell you the save slot so you're going to see where it says slot underscore zero 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 whatever whatever you're going to need to remember the number that is right in front of the save and once you remember that number you can just exit the game <laughs> so let's exit the game so the first thing that we're going to need to do is rip our sims from the sims game so you're going to go to your blender stuff go to sims ripper and you're going to run the application this is going to pop up for you guys um so what you're going to need to do is press select and this will pop up this is from your sims game whatever save number is yours you're going to go and click on that save file so for me it was three point save so i'm going to click that and just do the regular do not do any ones that save version zero one two or three or whatever after just save and you're gonna press open then all of your sims from that save file will pop up and you want to find your sim you can uncheck these to make it easier for you to find especially if you're looking for a specific sim i already know my name so boom i'm gonna press ario and then it's gonna do working and it's gonna take a little bit of time but be patient and yeah I read you guys it took a, a little bit of time but it's gonna take some time once it's finally loaded you can play around if you want to it doesn't really matter um basically you're gonna have to save this as a dae which is a collided day i'm not about to do it because it's gonna take forever and i've already saved my sims that i'm gonna use but for the sake of the video i i just did this but you're gonna press day and it's gonna do working and this is what it's gonna look like you're gonna go to desktop where your blender stuff is you're gonna click on blender stuff and you're gonna go to sims this is where they're gonna be and you're going to type in what you want to name them and press save i'm not gonna do it because it's gonna take a little bit of time so once again you're gonna have to be patient and once that is complete we're gonna move on to the next step so i'm gonna go ahead and do the poses before we even enter into Blender. So we're gonna open up Sims 4 Studio. So once Sims 4 Studio is open, you're gonna go to the settings. Make sure that Sims, or not Sims, in the settings, you're gonna have to go to where it says bl Blender Path. You're gonna click on the three dots and you're gonna try to find, we're not trying to, you're going to find Blender 2.70. So you're gonna go to desktop and you're going to find that Blender 2.70 folder, which is right here. Click on it and you're gonna click on Blender and open, and then you're gonna press save and your settings have been saved. We're going to save some poses that we're gonna be able to use later. We're gonna click on my projects and then you're gonna go to your mods folder to find your poses. So my mods folder is documents, electronic arts, 
the Sims 4 mods and I have mine pretty organized so poses I don't have that many poses but you're just gonna click on whichever pose it is your pose pack so I'm gonna do nacho bay because I'm gonna do a couple's pose as y'all see from like the thumbnail and everything but basically you're gonna see where it says pose packs and clips you're gonna click on clips this is where you're gonna get the preview of each pose so I'm going to do this one right here with where she is like laying on his chest or whatever and he is just chilling on the couch so I'm gonna do these two poses right here I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna press export and then I'm going to find my blender stuff folder on desktop blender stuff and then I'm going to go to poses blend and then I'm going to type in a brand new name so I'm gonna name this blender tutorial <laughs> and then I'm gonna press I'm gonna type in girl because this is the girl post. And then I'm gonna press save and it's saving. Once you know it's saving, it's gonna show exporting animation. This is how you know it's correct. This is how you know it's going right. And then all of your poses will pop up and you can just close that out. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for the male pose right here. Export, find it, just to be on the safe side, pose blend. Then I'm gonna type in blender tutorial man save exporting animation and there we go now you can do that for all the poses if you want to or you can just do it for one pose or however many poses you don't have to do it for every single pose okay now you're gonna just exit out of sims 4 studio and now we're gonna go into blender let's get it we're gonna do the regular blender y'all not blender 2.70 so we're gonna do the latest blender, open that up. So this is what the latest blender is gonna look like. You're gonna click on general, and then this box is gonna be here to move your screen around like this. You're gonna click down on your scroll wheel and just move your mouse around. That is how you do this. Um, if you want to move your screen like this, you're just gonna hold this hand and move your mouse. And if you wanna zoom in, you can do this and move your mouse up and down. But yeah, so we're gonna click on the box and press X and delete. Now you're going to go to file, you're going to go to import, and you're gonna import a Kalata Day. You're going to go to desktop, blender stuff, sims, and then you're going to import the sim that you want to import. So I'm gonna import Ariel. Then you're gonna press import. So she's gonna pop up and you're gonna be like, oh, MG, I did it, oh my gosh. You're gonna be really excited, right? But we're not even through halfway, okay? So after this, you're going to click right here on this one. This is your viewport shading. Click this so that you can give your sim some color. And from here, you're gonna go to the corner of your blender screen up here and you're going to pull it so once you see that little crosshair right here, you're gonna pull it so that you can have like two. Uh, I didn't mean to make three. So once you have both screens open, you can zoom in on this side and you know get close or whatever you wanna do. Just look at your sim and see how they look. So they're gonna look a little bit crazy. You know, got blackness, their eyelashes are gonna probably look crazy and everything is just not gonna look right, okay? So that's why we're going to fix it. You're gonna go over here, not right here. You're gonna go to this little thing right here, the editor type. Click down and you're gonna go press shade editor. Then this is gonna pop up so you can move Move this to resize it if you need to you're gonna go all the way over here on this side and you're gonna click down where it says rig and you're gonna click on your sims name and then this should pop up on the screen right it's gonna look a little bit crazy you're gonna be like whoa 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 i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what this is but i got you so you're gonna move color from the specular you're gonna move the color all the way to this specular right here on a principle or principled with an E, D. <laughs> then you're going to hold Shift A, go down to Shader, go to Mix Shader, and you're gonna put that right here in between Principled BSDF and Material Output. From here, you're gonna move this BSDF shader from the middle shader to the last shader. You're gonna use this or move this alpha from here. So you're gonna move alpha to fact, okay? Then you're gonna hold Shift A again, you're gonna click Shader, and you're gonna go down to transparent BSDF and you can put that right above. And then you're gonna put this BSDF from right here down to shader. Ooh, okay, okay. So not has not much has changed on our sim. She's still looking pretty crazy, but we're about to fix that right now, okay? Go down to this little beach ball right here on this side. It's gonna be called material properties. Click on that. Go to where it says blend mode and where it says opaque on the first one, you want to change that to alpha hashed. 
and then boom, your sim is gonna start looking like a sim again. Like her eyelashes are working, her, her hair is blended nicely. It's giving balls be, okay? It's giving, all right? <laughs> so once your sim is starting to look good, you're not gonna really need any of this anymore, so you can just kinda scooch a mooch over here, or you can just leave it, whatever. So from here, you're gonna have to click on rig right here. You wanna make sure rig is highlighted, and all you have to do is right click on one of these little orange dots, so I'm gonna right click on it, and then you're gonna press insert keyframe, location, rotation, and scale. Nothing is really changing, but you're gonna see that this animation thing right here has popped up, and yeah. So from here, we're going to import the, in the animation to our sim to make her do what she needs to do. So we're gonna come over here. You might have to scroll a little bit so you can see it, but you're gonna click on the editor type again, and then you're gonna go to non linear animation. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so y'all can really see over here. So you're gonna see where it says rig action. Right here, there's a drop down box. You're gonna press on that, and this is gonna be here. You're gonna right click on this yellow and press delete straps or strips in this orange. I don't know why I say yellow. So once that is done, you're gonna press file, you're gonna press append, and then you're going to go to desktop, your blender stuff, and then you're gonna go to poses blend, and you're going to find that blender pose that you have saved to your poses blend folder, and you're gonna click it. So this is the one for the girl. I'm gonna double click that, I'm gonna press action, and then I'm gonna double click on the pose, and nothing's gonna happen, she's still gonna be standing here like she crazy. You're gonna press add, and you're gonna press add action strip, and then there is the pose, you're gonna click on it, and your sim is going to do her thing, okay? Your sim is gonna start posing, and from here, your sim is complete on posing. So from here, you're gonna have to click file and save as, and you can just save this to your desktop as I do, or you can put them in a folder, it doesn't really matter. Um, I was just following the, the other girl's tutorial, so I just saved it to my desktop, but I'm gonna move them to my Blender stuff folder eventually. So I'm just gonna save her name, so Ariel, and I'm gonna name the post. So this is gonna be leaning on Bay. <laughs> leaning on bay pose and then you're gonna press save as and then it's gonna save so i'm gonna redo this for the male sim so that y'all can really see but i'm gonna go a little bit quicker so yeah so once again delete that file import day desktop blend yourself sims click the sim that you want the name import i gotta show up right here boom change it to point shading it looks crazy do this <laughs> go here shader editor rig name I'll move this over I can see it again. Can't see. Okay. Bring the color to specular. Bring shift A, shader, mix shader in between. Bring the middle shader to the last shader. Bring alpha to fact. Shift A, shader, and a transparent BSDF. Put it above. Move this BSDF to the middle. Boom, bada, boom. Then we're going to go here to the beach ball. Blend mode to alpha hashed. He's looking good. Click on rig. Right click on one of these dots on his face if I can get there. Right click. Insert keyframe, location, rotation, and scale. Go over here to this non-linear animation, drop down, delete, strips, file, append, <laughs> desktop, blender stuff, poses blend, and find the pose that you're looking for, this is the one I want, double click, action, double click, add, add action strip, boom, and he is posed, and now, all we have to do is save him, so file, save as, and now you can completely exit out of Blender, or you can save it if you want to, if you want to come back into this and play around with it sometime later. But for now, we're gonna exit out of Blender, and we're gonna be on our homepage. So now you have to go and find a Blender scene. You can go on Google and type in The Sims for Blender Scenes, or you, if you already have scenes downloaded, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna click on images so I can easily see what I want or what I might like. So let's say for instance, I don't know, I already have a lot of blender scenes that I, I'm, I'm about to use one, but just in case y'all wanna know how to do it, basically you're just gonna look for a blender scene. So let's say I want, so this is what I'm going to do. Top golf blender scene, <laughs> because I already have it downloaded, but I will link this one below just because I do love it so much and she did her thing with it. So you're gonna find it and download the scene. You wanna make sure it is a blend file, so it's gonna say dot blend at the end of it. It's not gonna be able to be put into your Sims game, so just be sure of that. Just make sure you, when you look through your scenes, it's something that you like and whatnot, and yeah. But I'll make sure to link this below if you want the Top Golf scene. So now that that is done, 
I have my blender scenes already in my blender stuff folder so you can move them from your downloads to your scenes and here they are so I'm gonna open up top golf you can just double click on it and it's gonna open so let it take its time though because sometimes it might take a little to load up um, just give it time this takes patience y'all it takes patience so now that you have your blender scene my blender scene is in my blender stuff so I'm gonna click open scenes and I'm going to open my top golf scene so you just double click it and it opens all right so your scene should open up a little bit like this it should open like this where it is already in the camera view basically so you can pretty much see what your sims like scene would look like when you are in a camera view but it's gonna be gray so in order to see the color on your scene you're gonna have to change it to viewport shading which is this one right here click on that and your scene will start to gain color and texture give it time to load up don't be trying to move around because you're just gonna crash your computer trying to do it okay all right so now that your scene is pretty much loaded up and has color now we're gonna learn to import the sims with the pose into this scene so you're gonna come over to where it says file you're gonna press append. On a pin, you're gonna go to your desktop or wherever you saved those sims with the poses. So I saved mine to my desktop, so I'm gonna click on laid back bay <laughs> and I'm gonna press a pin. This is gonna pop up. You're gonna go down to where it says object, double click, and then you're gonna hold control for rig and click on your sims name and those are the only two things that you need to be clicking then you're gonna press append and your sim should appear in your scene like so like that um i don't really know the hot keys for like turning things around and moving stuff so i just manually click move and rotate and everything so you're gonna click on the little moving thing and you're just gonna be able to move him or her around exactly where you want them to be so i'm gonna i want him to be on one of these couches i'm gonna turn him in the direction of the couch like as if he were sitting on the couch and then i'm just gonna move him to where i need him to be at so give me a second y'all while i do this To be able to make sure you move your sim with their pose, you wanna make sure you see where their name is. Click on pose, click on pose, and then you can continue moving them around. That's just in case you click on something else and you need to be able to click on them again. So you just make sure you click on over here where you see their name, click on pose, and then use the arrows to move them up or down or sideways or whatever whatever the case may be so i want him to sit right here maybe like that like that it looks good i mean it's a little a little off he need to be deeper into the couch but that's just too much i'm gonna do like right here this is fine you can barely see okay you can barely i'm gonna just move the pillow over so you can't really tell that his arm is not doing what it's supposed to do <laughs> okay so i'm gonna just move some props over just to make the scene a little better and you can't even tell all right so now i'm going to import my next sim which is the same process go to file go to append and then you're going to find that sim wherever you saved it mine on desktop yours is probably on desktop as well if you're following the tutorial click on the one the, the pose that you did press append go to object and then you're gonna go press control and make sure you click on your sims name and rig then press append and boom she's in the scene okay she in the scene and we can go ahead and rotate and position her take a little bit of time to adjust it perfectly all right y'all i think that's as best as i can really get it it's not gonna be perfect because this couch is a little too short anyway so it's gonna be a little bit imperfect and her legs just gonna have to go through the through the couch and his arm is just gonna have to be floating above the couch just a little bit that's why i moved the pillow so it can look like it works pretty much i got the basics of the pose that i was going for and it looks great so you can do this pretty much anywhere if you want to you can move things in the scene if they are not linked together of course and 
you know, just really set the tone for the scene. So I'm gonna move all of these deco sims. So once you've done everything, you position your sims to their posing and pretty much got them to look how they're supposed to look, you're gonna click on your camera and this you can move your camera to wherever it is that you need to be. Like if you had your, pimp, your sim already in the location that you needed to be, you can just click on camera view and get to, get to rendering. But for me, my sims are all the way over here so I need to move my camera. So let me just do so. Boom. And pretty much this is just like a a, t a trial and error type of different thing. So the more that you play around with moving the camera, just going in and out of camera view, you can zoom in or zoom out or just do whatever it is that you see fit for your specific scene or whatever. But yeah, this is pretty much what I do. Um, hold on, let me rotate. And from here, I'm gonna show y'all how to render them and everything. Just give me a second, please. So there is my sim pretty much, or my sims pretty much just, you know, looking like they're really in the scene, right? So now we're gonna go to render options really quick. You're gonna come right here to where it says this little, it's like a little printer looking thing. You can change your resolution to whatever you want it to, your format, your file format, or just whatever it is that you're looking for. But this is basically your sizing. This is for like a square photo. If you want more of an elongated photo, maybe you need a photo for YouTube thumbnail, you can do whatever the dimensions are for your specific photo style. So for me, I think it is, what is what is the YouTube? What is it, 1280 by 720? I don't think that's right. Thumbnail size. <laughs> I can't remember to be honest. But pretty much you can play around with this to figure out what size of a picture that you're really looking for. And then of course, you know, go into the camera mode so you can really see what it would look like. And that's that. Then you're gonna come right here to how you want to render your image. You can render it in EV or cycles. Some people require that you render it in cycles because of the scene that they created is specifically for cycles or it might be the same thing for EV. I'm just gonna render it in cycles just cause that's what I know. And then pretty much you can continue messing around with your camera for, you know, photo quality and everything just to see exactly the, the position that you want your picture to be taken in and everything like that. So I'm doing like a YouTube thumbnail size. Then from here, all you have to do is press render. So, well, let me go to the camera mode so I can really see how the picture's gonna turn out. So this is basically how the photo is going to turn out, but you're gonna press render and then you're gonna press render image and it might take a little bit of time Sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, but just wait it out and it will render and it'll be cute and y'all will love it. So give me a minute while I let this render. All right, and then your Sims photo should be rendered, y'all. Pretty much it should be rendered. Your Sim picture should be rendered. It'll look like this. And from here you can click on image and you can save as and you can save it to your desktop or wherever you wanna save it. I'm just gonna save it to Blender stuff and pictures and I just give it a little name like, hey girl, and then save image and it'll save and everything. And yeah, pretty much that concludes our Blender tutorial and how to render your Sims to have higher quality photos and whatnot. So I really hope this was helpful. If it wasn't, once again, I will link the video that I use down below so that it'll be a little bit easier for you uh, or maybe you can learn in a different style. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.